Morning everyone. How are we doing this fine day? I say fine day, but man, it is freaking cold here. I think it's like five degrees. Anyway, uh, I hope you're all having a great day. I guess I can't complain a whole lot. If I did complain, it wouldn't do me much good. But I wanted, before it gets maybe too bad, I, I wanted to start seeing if we can make this into a bunker of some type. Uh, you know what? There's going to be a problem because there's something right there. I forgot about that. I think it's the way this is set up. There's a side there. Let's see. Alright. Do we want one we can shoot out of, maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Well, oh, stupid. Come here. Okay, so there's going to be something in the way. There must be a piece of siding or something. Extra siding, maybe? Oops. Uh-oh. No, I thought I was breaking the wrong one for a minute. Let's see here. Gonna have the same thing there. Huh. Anyway, um... What is this? It's still day 30. I still need to get some darn looting done, too. I haven't got all the stores done in both of the hub cities. I just realized uh, that I don't have... Okay, so there's one there, too. Again, I realized I don't have the auger schematic, which I would really like to have for some of this digging. I hear somebody somewhere. Oh. Okay, well, I'm going to sit down here and wait for you to arrive, because I'm tired this morning running around all over the place. And I haven't had my extra coffee yet. I've only had the one cup, and it takes a lot more than one cup to get this heart started in the mornings, it seems like. Actually, it kind of seems like it takes more to... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Let me get a drink here. So, um, anyway, back to work. Uh, Buffy is sleeping in late today. Okay, now I can't where I left off at. Right there, okay. Buffy is sleeping in late today. She had a, or going to bed early today. She had a tough day yesterday trying to keep around and trying to keep this old fart out of trouble. So she decided to turn in early and, and read a book. Sorry, guys. That's that old man's cough in the morning, you know. I used to call a smoker's cough when I when I used to smoke, but I haven't smoked in years, so it's not that. You know, I probably should be if I was smart. Do I have any? Shit, I don't have any wood on me. Damn. <clears throat> All right, let's run over here for a second. <clears throat> well, I did a, uh, Viore and I did a uh, multiplayer last night. Viore got, a, got a, his uh, motorcycle, or motorcycle, his um, mini bike, and uh, so we were out trying to learn the mini bike ride, and like most of you know, when you first start to mini, start learning a mini bike, it's a pain in the butt. It seems so. Well, at least to me, it seems very, very counterintuitive. But, but uh, let's see. Let's uh, let's make some wood frames. No, let's make some ramps. Let's make something we can pick back up. Wood frame ramp. Yeah. Let's make uh, six of those. And then let's go back over here and make. Yeah, that works. 
maybe instead of using the concrete to figure it out. Oh, I had wood frames on me, dumbbell. Alright, well, that's okay. Maybe we gotta do a little designing with something we can actually pick back up. Anyway, I was thinking maybe. Let's see. Is that the center of this thing? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, because so there isn't no center because of the four piece. Okay. All right. So what if we make this the center? What if we put the hatch here? Oh, that disappeared quickly. Let's see. I'd like to put a shooting port on at least three of the sides. I don't know if you'd have to have one on this side. It'd probably be wise. And if Buffy is here, she would say, Curmudgeon, get your head out of your butt and make a shooting port on all sides so that you can't be blind to the incoming dangers. That's what she would say to me. So if we did that... Okay, if we did that... Wow, that went quick. Those things don't really have a lot of structural support, do they? Alright, so if we... Let's see, let's see, let's see. It kind of worries me, that structural support crap there. So let's do this. We may just turn all this into concrete or something. I think I'd feel a little safer with that. And then maybe Damn, do I have half blocks on me? I can't remember if I picked those up. Yeah, alright. All right. What if we put So that won't let me put anything below it now. But I don't think a zombie can crawl through a half block, can they? And you wouldn't have to have iron bars if I built that right. Because I don't think they can crawl through half blocks, can they? I don't think they can. Okay, so... Alright, so let's say that's going to be... I have a feeling this is all going to be concrete now. I don't think we're going to make it out of... Yeah, that's just breaking way too easy, guys. I, I have blocks set on 100%, so it's not, and it's not like... Uh, I think that would be safer. And then what if we make a shooting port? Do we want to keep them in line, you think? Maybe make that a shooting port. Oh, I bet those are just... Uh, let me look down here. No, they're showing as blocks. I'll be darned. Um, let's see. Let's see here. So... Okay, so... Let's pick these up, because we kind of know that's what we want. At least along there. Uh, let's dig this out so we have an extra... extra concrete there and let's put this right there nice quiet evening uh, what do you think does that look somewhat sensible I guess the good thing is the uh, metal frame is going to give me somewhat of a... You know, they would walk over that. That wouldn't really be an issue. They would end up walking over that. So, if we did the same thing here... I kind of wish I knew where the... Uh, or understood how the chunks work in this game. So I could... Uh, 
Yeah, I'd like to know if my forges are working when I'm over here. They seem to they seem to work when I'm in uh oops. Just about screwed the poot on that one. They seem to work when I'm in the house, in the base, you know. I wonder if they're actually producing over here. I guess I could run over there and look and Okay, so now we're here. We want another half block, right? We want a half block, right? Where's it at? Yeah, it's going to be a flat and a half block, right? So right here we want a half block. I guess I could put that axe away. It's not like I need an axe. It's right here, right? Yeah. a damn zombie come up and surprise my ass and cause me to place the block in the wrong spot. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. So is that what we're wanting? Does that look right? Oops, get that damn thing out of my face. Yeah, okay. Damn, that doesn't look the same for some reason. <coughs> okay, so... Let's get rid of this. And... Let's put some blocks in there. Right, right, is that right? Shit, I should, do I have my damn mining helmet with me? This is getting stupid. Oh, wrong button. Yeah, it just doesn't want to come on. There. Let's run back over here a second. Yeah, that looks right. That looks right. So we just want to dig this out and continue with the... concrete blocks. Oop. Yeah, I could probably use a beer right about now. Oh. If you can make concrete corners. Alright, come on, dumbass. Pardon me, guys. Okay, now wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We need another gun port right here, correct? This is where we want the gun port. Yeah, that's where we want the gun port. And then we'll put the other gun port. Right there? That looks right. Okay. Alright. I'm trying to keep Buffy from getting too upset with me, you know. She, uh... Oh, well, that was probably stupid, because now I'm firing over the gun port. This old fart's memory just isn't what it used to be, guys. One of the hazards of growing older, I guess. doing plenty of stupid stuff when I was young. But, you know, what the hell, it was fun. I guess you, you uh, live and die by your choices, right? You live and die by your choices, and sometimes they're good, and <clears throat> sometimes they're not. So I'm not going to complain. Well, I'm going to complain. Hell, that's a lie. I'm going to complain, but I uh, won't blame anybody for it. All right, so I actually want a block in the ground. Did I do that over here? Maybe that's why it doesn't look right. Oh, hell, I can't tell from that side. Okay. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, so actually, you know what? Let's get this damn metal out of the way. Maybe I'll, get, maybe I'll keep from being so damn confused for a little bit. We actually do want a concrete block here, and then we want a half slab above that. I've already got this thing all screwed up. Oh well. Now we want ramps so that they will attempt to walk over most of this, I'm hoping. 
and then we need corner pieces. You know, I'm going to build the Merrimack yet, guys. This is all there is to it. Uh, I've decided that, you know, we're going to have to build a sailing ship. So, um, I think the Merrimack is, the design for the Merrimack, Merrimack is going to probably outweigh the rest of them. Okay, so, here and here, what was that? What was that? Oh, man. Zombie apocalypse keeps you kind of on your toes, I guess, a little bit, huh? Okay, let's, um... Nope, we want this tool. Alright. Does that look right? Except we want another row of concrete here. not the zombies that drive you crazy, it's those damn dogs. They're the ones that, <coughs> they really don't growl at you now until they get right up on your ass, you know what I mean? Uh, the zombies don't say anything, it, that's usually not too bad. You can usually punch the hell out of them and run and jump and get away from them. And, uh, Them damn dogs, man, they're fast and they are seriously relentless little shits. So I worry more about the dogs than I do anything else. So now we want blocks here. I think that's going to come together, guys. What do you think? What do you think? And it looks somewhat symmetrical, which... For an anal person like myself, well, and Buffy's a little anal too about this whole building thing. <clears throat> like I told you, we've had a couple discussions. Okay, so now, good, good. So what we would have to do is, you know, what did I have go wrong last time? Crap, I don't, I didn't make a vault door. Let me go make a vault door. Hold on. I got to check this out to make sure I do it right. Yeah, I'm absolutely amazed how much these, uh, frames change the direction that the zombies go. It just amazes me. It's like after putting those in there, they just go right to the wall and walk into spikes. You know, it's like, oh, look, we can't get through there, Mary. Let's go around this way. Sure, John. What about the spikes? Don't worry. They won't hurt us. Well, maybe they Okay, what did I come over here for? <laughs> Make a damn vault hatch. Okay. Okay. Vault. Vault hatch. Springs and forged steel. Alright, well, I think the forged steel is here. Yeah, okay. And the springs are over here. Yeah. So now we should be able to make a vault hatch. Craft one of them boys up. All right. Put the springs back. I should make me a chest just for metal products, but as you can see, I haven't got around to it. And probably won't. Okay, so now we have one vault hatch. Uh, wait a minute. We might need a ladder. Let's see. Let's see how much I can screw this up. Yeah, but anyway... Back to the frame thing. That's that's it's really an interesting to me mechanic um, in the game that um, having put those frames in there, it changed seems to change the entire pathing of the horde. Even like the other night, you know, on day 28, last time, well, on that side they actually came right through that opening. Plus they blew some holes in the wall, but. This time they didn't even kind of go around that and come to the opening. They actually actually did go bypass it and come around this side. So it's interesting if that, that's how the um, mechanics work. Okay, hold on guys. It's time for a coffee drink. I 
I still think good use of the this would be to turn it into a um, a drainage ditch escape or entrance. <clears throat> I'm not quite sure. I mean, if I build it like that one over there, how would that work on the wall to protect the wall? Okay, anyway, back to this. <laughs> Let's get over here and take a look. Quit fiddle farting around here. Oh, I made flagstone too to start replacing this. I'm going to replace this with flagstone. And then I'm going to knock out all the windows and do all that stuff and clean out the inside. Um, then I'm going to, um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to, like I told you, I'm going to spawn in the new wood walls so I can get all that. Because I want to make this house blue. I want this one blue, then the one over there I'm going to make white. But anyway, I digress. I digress. So let's, uh, let's get back over here and then let's see. Um, what did I have to do here? I had to, if I make the vault hatch, da, da, da. okay, let's see here. I know it's not going to fit right, so if we put this on there and then put, oh, I don't want to do that. Let's put that up here. Just for a test, what if we put the uh, ladder right there? That'll let the hatch sit there. Okay, okay, now can I... Can I dig some of this out to get it out of the way here? Well, I know I can dig some of it out, but... I don't know if I want to keep, you know, I don't know here. I haven't quite decided what I want to do about that. Okay, at the moment, if you crouch, it's too low. Watch the damn thing collapse on me. So that's kind of a screw up right there. What if you... What if you put a half slab? Does that look screwy to you guys? That looks screwier than hell to me. That looked like it's facing the wrong way. Okay, all right, all right. Let's just test it. Let's just oh shit. Okay, let's just put a half slab there and stand on it. Okay, you can shoot. Now my concern is, can I put anything? I can't put anything above it. There. Or can I? All right, just <laughs> ah. come on. Don't let Buffy see you being such a wuss. What if we? What if we turn this over? Okay. Come on. Do that. 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 And that. And then put. Oh, shit. Okay, well, we screwed that up, so you can't... can't put a hatch on a half slab. I didn't think I remember... Well, I know I didn't remember that, so... Crap. All right. Let's put a, put a ladder on there so I can get out. <clears throat> well, bite my shorts. Bite my shorts. Let's get that out of the way. So now that is... Damn it. Okay, that <coughs> that wouldn't be in the way of the <coughs> Maybe it had to be a full isn't that a full slab? That is a full slab. Does it have to be a full slab on this side? sure you guys are saying you had to do that last time dumbbell remember the old fart it didn't work last time either and I'll be going oh yeah that's right it didn't work last time did it okay, 
I do I definitely have to dig out another row that's for sure um, That, oops, get out of my face. How's that going to interfere with the ladder? If I put a full slab there, can I put a ladder there? Yeah, I can. Now, can I get out of here? Okay, I can. So, let's see. If we... If we put a ladder there and there... Now I need another damn vault door to test it, I guess. Well, here, I wonder if I got any... Oh, hell, I don't even have enough wood to make a... a hatch. I mean, the theoretic, I guess you would think the hatch would fall down in there, too. Alright, guys. Well, I'm going to work on this a little bit more, and I... apologize for my clumsiness today in this, but... we're running up to 26 minutes, and I think... You know, that's about as long as anybody can put it with me. Uh, Buffy has said the same thing. She's told me to go out on the porch and get away for a while. So I totally understand. So Anyway, I'm going to continue working on this and see what I can do to uh, improve it. And uh, I'll bring you guys back and we'll kind of discover my screw-ups. Uh, of course, by that time, you guys might have figured them out. But anyway, once again, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, all the likes and uh, the comments and the following. I mean, it's really nice to see that happening. So if you would, once again, please leave me a like. Click that thumbs up button down there. Uh, shoot me a comment. Please subscribe and share with your family and friends and, of course, on your favorite social media. The old curmudgeon really does appreciate it. And... Uh, you guys have a great day, and I really do mean that. You have a great day. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.